What time is it? You don't even know. I got brand new lighting here. Uh, I'm still kind of tinkering with it, but what's up? I am a tax slug. Welcome back to my uh, 2K16 Let's Play My Career. Ebenezer's Revenge. Uh, it is a triple threat match with uh, Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler. And our authority goal is to perform three running moves. And yeah, I perhaps didn't anticipate having giant lights right here and right here. And I'm like trying to like look at the screen now and it's a little bit washed out. So maybe I need a new TV. But no. Uh, how in the hell... Okay. I'm the IC champ. How in the hell is Barrett and Sheamus the main event in a last man standing match? How is that the case? I'm going for the title. That's like... More important, shouldn't it be? I think so. I don't know. So yes, I am, uh... Collision course. I am still kind of tinkering. Obviously, I spent this morning kind of messing with, uh, stuff. And, uh, yes. And, uh, my Raw reaction went up a couple hours ago, so go watch that one if you haven't watched my Raw reaction yet. Uh... And what I thought on what happened on Raw on Monday. And yeah, I'm kind of just getting used to having these giant lights in my face. I don't know how, I don't know how people do it professionally. Uh, I look extra tired now. Uh, but yes, it is uh, 1 p.m. But you wouldn't know. If it was 1 a.m., you wouldn't know. That's kind of the whole idea here is that, you know, I have a more... I don't have to have a need to wait for daylight for, you know, good daylight. Not, you know, cloudy, rainy shit. Um... To have a good looking video, or at least, you know, for my little, my little tiny ass picture in picture window. Uh, what happened? I did the authority goal, and we're in a fucking cutscene now. What in the blue hell is even happening? Hey, yeah, we, we, we were authority guys. Yeah, me and you. We were in the authority. No. Lay down for Seth Rollins. Don't lay down for Seth. Why the hell would I lay down for Seth Rollins? Sorry. It's like, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. But also, no. <laughs> Punch him in the face. Ah, uh, that's funny. He is Seth freaking Rollins. This is weird they have a cutscene that, that early in the match. It's real weird. Setting up for a charge finisher. Get up, Dolph. Boom. Not that it matters because now I gotta deal with Seth. Freaking Rollins. Not today too fast. And then he pins the wrong guy because I don't know how to change my attention in this game. Uh, that doesn't help me at all. So, it is a triple threat, which obviously are a little bit more difficult to play. Because I don't have to get pinned to lose the title. Which is going to be the big bone of contention, uh, not for the title, but it's going to be a thing when they stand there, Dolph. Just fucking, what the hell was that? The main event for, uh, Fastlane is going to be, uh, Reigns and Ambrose and Brock. And you know Brock's not getting pinned in that match, so how do you, how do you make that happen? It's simple, you take Brock out with the Wyatt family. And then, uh, you have Reigns pin Ambrose. Like, that, if that doesn't happen, I'll be shocked. I'll be absolutely shocked. What? Yeah, okay, Dolph. Okay, Dolph. How was I not breaking that up? See, that's what I don't like about Triple Threats. It's like, I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what the buttons are. And it's not working. You do your thing, Dolph, there. You do your... You do you. And I will immediately give you the what? A wasteland. And then pen you. Because reasons. Like, their health bars are way low. And I'm over here with my signature and kind of doing all this crazy stuff. And So, ideally, we do the impaler spike to... Now, of course he's going to... Get off him. And then we do... No, what are you... Ebenezer, what are you... Well, wasted opportunity, because now Dolph Ziggler's going to try to pin Seth Rollins, because that move does not go into immediate pinfall. See, look. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Screw you, Dolph. 
the hell out of my ring. No. Yes. The sure, uppercut him. No. Out of nowhere. Get. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. Well, whatever. Get back in the ring. No, get back in the ring. What are you? Like looking at Rollins for no reason at all. Backstabber. Pin him. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's just wander around drunkenly and not pin him. No, that's not going to happen. And we're not going to get another shot at it because uh, Rollins is stirring. He's going to get up. Splat. Go to the top. Go to the top. Go to the top. Nope, not going to make it. Not going to make it. Not going to make it. Oh, hi. Nah, didn't hit it anyway. So this is the problem. Is I'm whipping both their asses here. Both of their candy asses, if you will. And uh, they're going to end up just taking me out in some fashion. And then I get boned. And lose my damn belt. Which is fine. Like I can, I can go for a different belt. That's, you know, not that big of an issue. I'm hitting... Wow, okay, game. What the fuck are you doing? There we go. Yeah, Dolph, just stand there. Just stand there, Dolph. Just stand there, Dolph. Yep. Just stand there, Dolph. Good idea. He's spazzed out. He's like, what's happening? And <laughs> your winner and still Intercontinental Champion, the Immovable Object, Ebenezer Middlesdorf. Uh, now, does that immediately put us back into the red with the authority is my question, because we did not lay down... For Seth Rollins, who should have been authority, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if I had to recall this time period correctly, he was still with the authority. So, my question is, uh, what in the blue hell? So, I guess we'll find out uh, after this uh, thing here. Authority order completed. Uh-huh. Oh no, Renee Young. What's up, Renee Young? Let's talk about yeah, Seth sure, let's talk about him. Seth Rollins tried to get you to lay down and get pinned, essentially handing over the title to him. Fuck that guy. And I don't lay down for anybody. Um, I never lay down for anyone. I never laid down for anyone. It's disrespectful. Yeah. Title. No, no finger poke of doom here. Finger poke of doom. Earn the title the right way, not by cheap little tricks. Not by listening to, not by l l listening to cheap trick. Thanks for the time. Back, Back to you, cow. And that wraps up that triple threat, but are we still feuding with the mystery man? Is there still a mystery man involved in uh, our current rival? That's what I'd like to know. We had our title defense at Payback, so... It just never told me. It just never gave me... It just never let me know. It just, hey, it's a mystery. Guess what? That mystery... The reason it was a mystery is because it was a triple threat, and they couldn't have two guys in that spot uh, for whatever bizarre reason so i guess here's the question i'm going to end this today because here is my question to the audience which is you guys a does this lighting look good but b more importantly uh should i abandon my ic title should i just you know lose a match on purpose or should i just say you know what screw that title i'm going for a different title and if so which other title should I be fighting for? Should I go for a world title? Should I go for a tag title? Should I go for the US title? Like, should I do that or should I keep the IC title? Because as I, as I remind you, uh, one of the Hall of Fame goals is to hold a belt for uh, an entire year. So should I be IC champ for a year to get into the Hall of Fame or should I go for other belts? Let me know down in the comments below and I will take that course of action tomorrow in tomorrow's uh, episode of the 2K16 My Career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge. I keep saying Journey. Revenge 
on the PS4, we're like 70 episodes deep now or something insane like that, so thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I'm a tax slug. These lights are kind of hot. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out!